Shamai. Yes, I, funnily enough, it's perfect timing because I was just starting to get the room ready thinking, oh, my parcel might arrive soon. Here it is. Right, I think the dogs have calmed down. All right, this is something lots of you have asked about. I ordered it yesterday. I don't always do unboxings, but in this particular case, I really, really wanted to see what it was like straight from where I've bought it from and see what the setup's like. Um, so let's get cracking on. Okay, um, right, we can actually see the box it comes in now. That was a bit of a palaver, sorry, but yeah, the box was a lot bigger than I thought. Okay, loads of you uh, have been commenting and asking me uh, if I've tried this. Um, no, I haven't. I saw it um, and every, well, no, to be honest, it wasn't one that I thought, oh, I got to have that. So, um, I'd have a little look at it because it is very reasonably priced. I'll talk about that in a minute, but I didn't rush out to buy this. Um, and it's quite often it's out of stock. Wow, what a palaver again. Right, so let's just have a little look for a minute. We had the outer box from Gear for Music, which is where I bought it from. Then we had the outer Black Star box. Um, you can see on there, travel, bass, guitar. I won't uh, spoil any more for a minute. Then we've got the inner box. Um, right, I hope this one's going to be a lot easier. It's just it's a bit long, it is, that's all. Okay, right, we're in. Now, as I was saying, um, Gear for Music is a big box um, music shop. I don't know if they've actually got any physical shops, uh, but they've had a big online presence for quite a long while now. Um, and it was the main place that I've seen these being sold for in the UK. I've bought loads of stuff from Give From Music in the past. Not many instruments, to be perfectly honest. Lots of sort of studio recording, amps, electronic things like that. But this is why I'm never 100% convinced when some of these bigger, big box shops is that what you call them um how much uh, quality control and checking they do you know i couldn't buy this from a specialist um ukulele shop this really isn't a ukulele it's a mini bass i suppose um and black star i don't actually own anything by black star that's just the little um ce sticker declaration in there uh, i know loads of people who've got amps um and bits and pieces from Blackstar, but this is my first Blackstar product. Let's have a little look. Okay, I know very little about this place. As I said, I've been keeping a little eye on it. Lots and lots and lots of you have commented asking me, have I tried it? Will I do comparisons with other um, mini bases as well? And yesterday, I think it was, just talking about Christmas and have you said, all right, what do you find for Christmas? And inevitably, I mentioned instruments, and one of them was the flight mini bass. And he said, yeah, yeah, I get that, Christmas. And I was like, oh, get rid of all this. And I was like, mm, the thing is, is that like, loads of people ask me about the Star at the minute. So I just very, very quickly went, oh, let's go have a little look. They were in stock, and I just bought one. So there's been no thought process gone into this. I haven't really had a good look into them. Okay. Um, so this is out of the box. Again, it's not really my style of bass, to be perfectly honest. Um... Somebody will tell me the shape this is modelled on, because I'm not sure. Um, it's available in all black, with a black body and a black uh, pick guard. I just fancied the cream. So, 
you've seen it as much as me at the minute. There we go. It's got a sort of precision pickup configuration. Uh, I'm volume, tone. Um, it is magnetic pickups on here. All right. So again, this is much, much more like a traditional bass guitar setup, but much, much smaller. And one of the reasons I think so many of you guys and me um, were interested in this is the scale of it. So having just checked their website, because obviously I haven't actually measured it or anything yet. Um, the scale of this is 23.46 inches. OK, uh, or 527 millimetres. So it is a fraction, only a fraction longer than both the Carla solid body U base and the flight mini base and the new flight JB. So this is this is one of the reasons why I thought, right, let's get this because I'm interested and I know loads of you guys are, too. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look all over just to see the general condition. Then we're going to plug it in. The plastic on the pick guard has got a protective cover as has the pickups. I won't worry about the pick guard for now, but I do want to take them off the pickups before I actually plug it in. Mm, okay, so first thing uh, that I'm really taking a good look at, uh, the frets, no sharp frets on there at all, okay. The bodywork itself looks pretty good, there's no nasty scratches, uh, I can't even see any fingerprints or anything at all on here. The general finish, uh, one of the bolts right, just round there, I can see a tiny, tiny mark but nothing drastic at all. Um, so the actual finish of the body um, looks pretty good and it is quite a nice cream colour. I'm not going to talk too much today about the specs of it because I will do a full review on it. All right, this is just a quick unboxing and first look out of the box just to see, you know, quality control. Um, so obviously, yeah, bolt on neck, flat wound strings, obviously very out of tune. Right, I'm going to tune it and then we'll plug it in. Right, having uh, changed the set of Thunder Browns a little earlier um, and they take ages and ages uh, to tune up. Uh, that wasn't too painful. I will, in fact, I'll leave the uh, tuner handy for a minute and I'm just going to grab um, a strap because what I have noticed is when it sat on my lap, the jack input is exactly where my lap is. That's better. So far, so good. Right, let's just check the tuning one more time. Well, it works. Um, I don't really want to have to faff the camera, so I'm just going to sit, but I'm just trying to get myself so that this cable, there we are, that's away from my leg now. Just looking at the levels with the audio, I think we're okay. Okay, so the volume, I've turned it up and then I've just rolled it back a little bit because it's probably my amp settings down there. Hopefully, touch wood, 
uh, I'm recording direct out from the amp as well. So I've got my overhead going on here and that I'll, I'll see with uh, which audio or a mixture of both I actually go with. Okay, so that's volume. Uh, I'm just trying to work out the tone. That's probably about in the middle. Sorry, that clicking is my ring. Let's take that off from it. I always find that when I'm playing fretted. Okay, so in the middle for the tone. That's with the, all the treble up, I think. And then all the bass up. cut my nails as well um obviously this is a passive instrument so there's no battery or anything the eq is pretty basic i'm i'm hearing a difference in the tone but not much but i have literally just got out of the box so it's a little bit difficult to tell at the minute exactly like playing the Carla or the flight in terms of the feel of it I'm really not m noticing much difference in terms of this tiny um, difference in scale it's quite comfy my hand is resting over there uh, one thing I can't do with the Carla um, but I can do with the flight is slap now I'm not going down that route today about my slapping um, but just, I don't know actually. What I've just played there may be unplayable down to distortion. I just could see lots of red going on over there. We will see. But in theory, I can slap it. And the reason why I can't slap the Carla is because the pickups are a bit closer uh, to the end of the fretboard. And so there isn't really much room for me to do it. But I've noticed with the flight and with this one, they are much further down towards the bridge. All right. And just literally as first impressions. Because the pickups are closer to the bridge, you're tending to get almost that more sort of jazzy, tight sound. And you lose a little bit of the growl, I suppose. Mm -hmm. 
I really ought to get a pedal down there so I can just put the pedal and not have to be unplugging it and things at the back of the amp. So there we go, the black star. Let me get this right. Carry on travel bass guitar ST. 199 pounds from gear for music and this is how it has come out of the box okay um why have i got it well i've got too many but lots of you asked simple as that all right uh this is how it has come out of the box from gear for music um it's not like buying it from a specialist shop where they're going to make sure it's been set up and everything um first impressions or the action seems pretty good on it i will be checking it the intonation is difficult from a very very first play um but so far nothing really really bad has jumped out um i can slap it maybe now i'll have a little bit of inclination uh to practice my slap technique um i <laughs> I gotta say, the more I'm looking at it, the more it is um, growing on me a little bit. I really didn't, the shape of it really doesn't do much for me, all right? But it's not a bad base for £199. I will do a full proper review of this, but as as always, I do want to have a you know good play of it first and um, test it out a little bit, isn't it? Uh, if you'd like to support me here, on ukulele whales or on my ukuleleans channel uh, i do have a patreon page and i'll drop a link in the description below as always i do hope you've enjoyed this and hopefully found it useful it's why i've bought this is because so many of you were asking about it if you've got any comments or questions please feel free leave them below give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos thank you for watching